Hello, we'd like to welcome everybody to Chico Lodge. Uh, today we're kicking off the YMCA's 2013 uh, Strategic Planning Retreat. Uh, every couple of years we get together to think about where we've been over the past couple of years uh, and where we're going over the next couple of years. So, uh, you know, Dick, do you have any thoughts on what we're going to do this weekend? Well, I think it's exciting to get back together again. We were in Ocean Reef a couple of years ago and we set the stage for the these last couple of years. Today we're going to hear a report on where we've been and, and tomorrow we're going to work on where we're going. So it's kind of exciting to be here with all the families of our board members and uh, it should be an exciting couple of days and uh, we're happy to be here. Yeah, we've got a record number of people attending so we really look forward to a great weekend. Here's a special invitation to you my friend. Come and joy while your soul is So we had to make a stop by the dentist. Oh, I'm sorry that happened. It was rough. Okay. That tooth was pulled back. So it's all dentist, gone? So the dentist had to put gel on it, poke a needle behind it, and take it out. Oh. Did that hurt? Not too bad? It's very brave. All right. Good it's job, buddy. Brave. All right, let's see. I have uh, all your, these, we need to wear these at dinner. Okay. And then there's two drink tickets for each adult. Okay. And you can pick a color of a portfolio. Ooh, what color would we like, Carter? Red. No, green, my favorite color. Green. green. All right. Favorite. Green it is. And it is. There you go. I love right. it. And you can check it inside.
excited about what we've accomplished in terms of planning and getting our YMCA position for the future. But the future immediately is to go to Charles Dio's house and have one of the greatest parties imaginable in the Keys. Can't wait to get to D Largo. It's going to be cool. So we put on this event as a thank you for all the volunteers at the YMCA. So it's kind of a uh, big party with a, kind of a food festival angle to it. So we start here with the lobster mac and cheese. Uh, and this is Tom at, uh, from Meat who's serving that up. He's also making chorizo sliders and drumettes. Then we got Roddy It's going to be making lobster tonight, been marinating all night. We got Carla here that's doing the paella and uh, she's been slaving over this whole dish for days just so it's just perfect for every all the attendees then we have uh, uncle steve over here is doing the uh, shrimp boil you can see they're getting everything ready the corn the potatoes and the shrimp and then we're going to add the lobster to it it's going to be amazing so he's got three different boilers that's going to be going and they're going to be timing them in 20 minute cycles to make sure they they hit the trays at just the right time then we have big kenny over here is doing the full pig let's get a close-up of the pig uh, the apple in its mouth so uh, you can see here some great food there wow and then uh, we got another uh, kitchen going on in the back here and we'll go back and see uh, chef george who's uh, making the chorizo sliders and the uh, drumettes. So uh, this is Chef George here. This is my good friend Joe Violi, and we're doing a little inter video introduction to the party for the YMCA. How are you? Welcome. And then let's go around here and we'll, uh, oh here, get some pictures of the food. And uh, Chef George actually makes his own chorizo yeah, and uh, makes his own sausage. Not, he doesn't do anything from the store, it's all homemade. Then we come around here, we got Captain Josh giving us uh, some nice tunes for the evening. 
And then uh, right now the, uh, the pool is set up for the kids. Uh, as soon as the sun goes down, it turns into the aqua dance floor. And uh, the lights in the pool start going to the music. There'll be LED uh, waterfalls and water showers and the lights in the canal come on and the whole place will transform. Why is it that we choose to spend so much time on the outer circumference of spiritual experience where we can be graced with the, with the awareness of how precious we are? The Buddha, a couple days after he was enlightened and he was spending a few days alone, was approached by some friends and asked what happened to him. And he said he was reluctant to share it because it went against the stream. And we let ourselves get carried down that stream with all of its sorrow and all its confusion and all of the knots we get ourselves tied up in. Instead of grounding ourselves in contemplation, where we have a revelation of who we really are deep down inside. And when we remember that, we can be genuinely caring, respectful, honest, and responsible. And it comes naturally. This retreat has been an amazing experience for me for three different reasons. One, we got a chance to plan strategy for the future direction of our association, such an important work that needs to be done there. Two, we got to reconnect with family and friends that believe in the Y mission. And three, and most importantly for me, is reconnecting with the power of love. I believe our organization is all about people and community. And when we are able to come together like this and think about what we want to do moving forward to make an impact in our community, it makes all the difference to me and hopefully you. Live in harmony. We 
In harmony.